Hey guys, so we are gonna go through my fridge and my freezer and I'm gonna give you a bit of a meal plan, so come along with me. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna show you guys what we had for dinner last night. Um, and this will give you an idea for a meal. So I made homemade uh, chicken nuggets. Um, I think I have a video on this, so go look in my recipes and um, see if that's in there. I'm pretty sure I do, I make these all the time. Um, and then along with that, I made some homemade honey mustard that is definitely in my recipes and homemade ranch. Um, so, so good. And then also we had some broccoli that I just cut off of the, um, the broccoli. <laughs> and then we dipped that in the ranch and honey mustard. And I also had some cucumbers. So that was super delicious. Um, so that is a budget meal for you, super cheap. I just grabbed the pack of bone-in chicken thighs and I cut the meat off of the bone. Um, and I used about six and it fed all five of us and we had leftovers for today for lunch. So super good, I highly recommend that recipe. So let's go through this fridge really quick. So we have some watermelon cut up that I got from Sprouts. It was like this like long watermelon like this. It is so good. Um, it's super sweet. And then we have some cherries and we'll be having this for breakfast probably tomorrow and lunch or snack where to have lunch today. Um, and then I had just have like some pickles up here and some butter and lots of chicken's eggs. I've got some lettuce. So we're definitely gonna be doing something with lettuce this week. Um, I think I might be making some tacos for sure, and I'll show you. I have some pre-made ground beef in the freezer out there, so we'll be using up our lettuce for that. Um, so write tacos on your list, guys. Um, that is a great budget meal. All you need is some flour tortillas or some corn. I like to fry my corn tortillas up sometimes. Um, you can even get the crunchy taco shells from the store. Um, you can make tostadas. That is super cheap and budget friendly. Um, okay, so um, some other things we have to snack on are these plums from Sam's Club. And I need to wash this. It's dirty. <laughs> um, we had some yogurt for breakfast today with fruit. That is always a good budget friendly um, thing to have. I take some granola. Um, I bought the granola cereal, it's a lot cheaper. Um, and then you put it on top of your yogurt. It's so good, and then just have some fruit on the side. It's super filling, a granola bar. So there's a budget breakfast for you guys. Um, and then usually we'll have like cucumbers for snacks and stuff. Um, and then also for breakfast, my kids have been enjoying some kiwi and then snacks, apples, um, and oranges. And I usually eat an apple with peanut butter for breakfast. That's a great budget breakfast that fills you up pretty quick. Here's my kids lunch. I bought some bologna. We did fried bologna sandwiches. Now I'm saying that that was kind of expensive. That's not really budget meal. Um, the only way you can make a sandwich in my opinion is budget meal. If you're cooking the chicken for a sandwich, um, or if you're doing like tuna, um, egg salad um, and then another great budget one is to buy a big ham and freeze portions of it for sandwiches and then um, you can use the ham hock for ham and beans or ham soup and then you have a bunch of ham to put in dishes because it's portioned out into Ziploc bags in your freezer. I do this all the time. Um, that's the most budget friendly, but I actually bought the bologna. We don't really usually eat this, but my husband wanted a fried bologna sandwich. So it, it wasn't too expensive if you want something like that. I got the thick cut. It wasn't very thick. <laughs> um, let's see what else is in here. Um, we got some cheese in here, a few little leftovers. This is super messy. My fridge is beeping again. And so yeah, that's like our cheese drawer. It's just really messy. Okay, so in here we have some grapes, um, and then this is some leftover chicken. So this was the night before. Um, this is another budget-friendly meal. So Sam's Club sells a, um, well, a lot of places sell it, but Sam's Club sells, I think it's called an Asian salad. It's so, so good. So it's like two-something for the bag. So I got two bags of that, and we made a big, big salad with it. And then I made some teriyaki chicken, and we just kind of put it on the side. Um, and then... Um, what other side did we have? I think we had like cucumbers or something for the other side. Um, and so it ended up being super good, delicious. You guys have to try it. There goes my fridge again. It keeps beeping. Um, but we have um, some celery for snacks and a bunch of different fruits like um, strawberries and blueberries and grapes. I don't know if I already said that. And then my creamer drawer with my tomatoes that the kids are eating up just like that. 
they're just plopping them in the mouth. These are so good. And then I think that's a little bit of lettuce. So there's my fridge. Oh, and then guys, these go to Sprouts. I got these from Sprouts. I don't know what they're called. They're donut, yeah, donut nectarines. Oh my gosh, they look like this. <gasps> so good. They're like the sweetest things ever. Sprouts has the best fruits and vegetables. Um, I have some peanut butter and jelly. I also get this from Sprouts. This is amazing jam. <gasps> so good. Oh my goodness. You guys have got to try this or preserves or whatever it's called. Super good. And I think it's a little bit better for you. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I love that. Highly recommend. That's what we use for our peanut butter and jelly and stuff. I even, my kids will even put it on waffles. There goes my fridge again. <sighs> okay, so this freezer. This week we'll be having a bunch of vegetables from here and things like that. Um, we have eaten, I have eaten up all this, we have eaten up all the sandwiches and rolls and stuff. I, we, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, but I do want to make, I've had this in my fridge for a freezer for a while. So this week I am going to make this corned beef. Now this is not budget, but, um, if you get it on sale, it is budget. So, because there, it feeds a lot. So, but you know, that's, that's not included in my budget family meals. I was just showing you. Um, I got some um, waffles in here for the kiddos for breakfast, and we'll probably be using this ground beef and chicken for something soon. And that's my breakfast store. Um, tomorrow, we are going to take these everything bagels and make breakfast sandwiches, but I haven't decided if I want to do that or do pizza bagels. Now, pizza bagels for dinner. Um, you just take these everything bagels, you take any bagels, and but these are so good, guys. Put some jarred pizza sauce on top or spaghetti sauce, whatever you want, any spaghetti sauce. Cheese and whatever toppings, so, so good. The everything bagel makes it taste amazing. So there is a budget, and then you just put it with like, you know, a side salad or vegetables and ranch, um, and it is so good. So highly recommend a meal like that, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be making that for the kids, probably Monday, maybe. Okay, so we're out here right now looking at our meals. My husband just bought a brisket. We're going to be smoking this. Well, he's going to be smoking this brisket. Um, and so we are going to have um, some more freezer meals out of that brisket. But this is what I was talking about. I have made some ground beef with taco seasoning. And I just froze it in these two containers. So I'm just going to take one of these out. And you can make enchiladas with this, like quick enchiladas or whatever. Um, and I think we're just going to have tacos with this. I might take both of them out and then make freezer burritos with the rest. We'll see. Or freezer tacos. And I can show you guys that. That's super easy. I've done that before on this channel. But yeah, um, we're going to have tacos. And this is all I have to do is take this out, thaw it. I don't even have to thaw it. I could just throw it in the crock pot like this. And it will thaw on its own in a few hours. Um, but yeah, it's already fully cooked and ready to go. Um, and so this is all our hot dogs and stuff for camping. So this is the teriyaki chicken I was telling you about. So all I did was I took some chicken, cut it up, and put it in some marinade and froze it just like this. Um, and usually I'll do this for kebabs and I'll let it thaw and we'll just make, we'll just have the kebabs that way. Or I'll just make them fresh with the teriyaki sauce. But if you guys want my teriyaki sauce recipe, just watch my uh, one of my recipe videos. It has the teriyaki sauce recipe that I use. So it's super simple, super easy. Go go check those recipes out. Um, I have some really good ones on here, guys. Um, but yeah, so I could just take this out and I could fry it up in a pan, cook with some rice, and you got chicken teriyaki. So Or I can stick it on a skewer and kebab it. <laughs> Um, we got some leftover chili, and I think I'm going to get some Fritos and do chi and do uh, Frito pies with them. Um, so, yeah, we got frozen chili. I just froze them in here. These things work great for campers, by the way. I got white rice. So, what I might be doing is I might be making, at the end of this week, I might be making white rice, because all I have to do is warm this up, um, and doing chicken teriyaki and vegetable, or I'll take this white rice and turn it into teri chicken teriyaki fried rice. Um, because it's already frozen, all I have to do is thaw it, and then it will work perfectly for fried rice. Um, and then I've got some top steak in here that I plan on using and eating some raw vegetables and ranch and having steak on the side, or we can just have a salad. Um, and then just doing steak and a salad for dinner. Um, and so there you can add that to your meal plan. I get my steak on sale at Sam's Club. I shop early in the morning. That's when you're going to get your best deals. So there's another budget meal. And I got this on sale. That's why it makes it a budget meal. Now, if you 
now a super budget meal if you can't afford the steak is to take ground beef or ground turkey and go look in my recipes and you'll find a um a salisbury steak recipe and instead of using this you can just make salisbury steak um and that will be like a budget steak meal um i have an amazing salisbury steak recipe on here that you guys would love go check that out um can you see how we're going through our popsicles delicious my kids are not into the frozen go-gurt anymore so i don't know if they're getting too old for it or what but i might have to stop that soon um, and then at some point we're gonna have some chicken taco soup this week. I need to go get some tortilla chips. They don't have my favorite red quinoa ones at Sam's. I'm hoping they get them back because um, that would be super refreshing to pile some um, cabbage and uh, tomato and cucumber on top of a bowl of chicken taco soup um, and just eating it like that. Sounds delicious. So we'll probably be having that this week or my ham and bean soup. My, it's my ham and white bean soup. I think I have a recipe on this. Um, but this stuff's already cooked. I just got to throw it in the crock pot to thaw. And then I can make a uh, cornbread on the side with this and that, and some, a side of vegetables. And that would make a great meal too. So lots of meals. Okay, so now we're going to go into our prepping supplies. Excuse this. We're going to knock this wall out so this pantry is not finished yet. This side is the one that we've been using. We took the doors off and shelves off. But yeah, um... This is my bin of stuff that we like are going to use that's not going back in the pantry and not stuff I'm going to buy anymore. So usually what I'll do is I'll go through this bin and see if there's anything that I want to make for dinner. Um, and I just know to put stuff in this bin and that's how I keep it organized to use it. But pretty much I've gone through what I need to use currently. So let me show you. Oh, let's start from the other side. Let me show you the options we have here. So... I go into my pantry every week and see what we have so I know what I can use. And I just look around. I, I need to do a haul soon. Um, it's just hard to do that with the kids not being in school and stuff. I wanna pay as much time as I can with them, but I see the cornbread, so I might be making that this week. I even see some potatoes. So what I could do is I could make um, barbecue chicken with the chicken you saw in my house freezer and do like potatoes, and I even have uh, scalloped potatoes I'll show you on the other side, and then we can do a vegetable, and this is another budget-friendly meal. Go through what you have and use up what you have. But I already went through this stuff with you guys uh, not too long ago, so, but I will, I would take a can of that corn to that um, cornbread, just so you know. But yeah, and I can do, but I can do these for a quick and easy side or the rice with the steak. That would be delicious. Um, and I don't really see any other budget meals in here other than taking some beans. I love doing chili beans in my uh, tacos and stuff like that. So we could do like the chili beans with the taco meat and make tacos that way to make it more filling and bulk it up. So... And then of course for lunches, we can have any of those soups that we want, but I think I'm pretty much gonna keep a uh, hold on these because I've been making a lot of fresh lunches and this is really just for stock up. So I wanna keep my stock. So I actually need to stock a little bit more. Okay, so those are some of the easy budget friendly meals that I have for you. Like I said, you can do the steak or the Salisbury steak. Um, I. A lot of times if I want steak and I can't afford the steak, I will definitely do the Salisbury steak. And it is, it gives me that same uh, feel of what I want and what I'm craving. So, and you could pair it with just fresh vegetables and a sauce to dip it in, or you can do the potatoes and a side of veggies. So I always make sure to have canned veggies in my house and frozen veggies and fresh so I know what to pick from. Um, sorry, I'm looking everywhere. And I can also do the uh, chicken. So I go to Sam's Club, like I was saying, and I buy the pack of uh, bone-in skin-on chicken thighs. And it's like five to six bucks. It's like 98 cents a pound, I believe. Um, for a package, I'll get that size package. And uh, that is the most budget-friendly way to make a meal for your family to feed them, in my opinion, from what I've found. So I could do like the barbecue chicken with it, and I can do um, some vegetables and rice, or I can do some baked beans, 
So, um, and then I told you guys that we're gonna do the tacos for sure because I wanna use a lot of those vegetables and the chicken taco soup because um, I can use those vegetables with the chicken taco soup as well. And with the Frito pie, I can also use the same vegetables because if you've ever had Frito pie and you put a little bit of cabbage on top, it is so good with some like tomato and jalapeno and cheese, so good. So try to think of meals where you're utilizing the same ingredients to just cut a bunch up and for the next few days utilize those ingredients so that you have quick family or easy family meals and it's on a budget because you're using those same ingredients. And the stuff that I get from Sam's Club is like the lettuce and stuff, it's always a lot cheaper. So you're gonna be saving a lot. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope you like those ideas. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thank you so much for watching and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Bye guys.